so we're back here on the cheap excavator project uh, started screwing with the motor and it wants to burn all the electrical down so this is kind of what I have going here these are the old battery cables they're all corroded and uh, pretty much toast so uh, made new ones uh, all copper zero gauge and then you just crimp these uh, battery terminals and then shrink wrap them uh, if you have a big gap in between kind of like here what I like to do is heat that with a torch and then put some uh, solder in but this is a shitty one too and then I just buy all this shit from Amazon uh, it's um, this is the original cap, but I have a new cap under there. This is gonna eventually rip sometime, but just to protect this stuff. And I'll put up a picture of why this thing was melting down. The guy just twisted some wires together and electrical taped them. So uh, we're gonna solder in a new line today. Uh, went through the um, starter. Uh, the solenoid pretty much disintegrated when I took these uh, back nuts off. It just crumbled. It's all plastic. So put a new one on from good old China. And uh, I think these whole things are like 250 for a brand new one. So I just clean this up. When this goes, I'll buy a whole new one. Uh, not worried about it. So this is all good and cleaned up. I, I was going to do a video on this, but there's so many guys that will show you how to do these. Yeah, we'll go from there and uh, get all new uh, wiring on this uh, starter setup, and we'll start turning it over and see if uh, we can't get a better result. All right, so for this, this guy had the wrong repair in there. It was just twisted uh, wires together with... Uh, electrical tape on that. This is uh, soldered in and just some shrink wrap. So that's the right repair. Uh, this is, I think, the culprit of the uh, fire that was starting anytime I would try to uh, start this thing. Now that we have that done, uh, we're gonna throw this starter in and then just keep uh, buttoning up everything. make a ground wire uh, the other one was toast um, and I'll show you what I do uh, I'm not an expert I just have done this for marine and all other applications that I do I don't have a crimper and this is just the cheap and dirty way to do it so you have your zero gauge connector um, this is just some rolled up auto net from uh, Orbital Sander or DA. Let's take some solder paste or whatever this is called. This is just a, like a roll pin uh, punch. And you got like, that's the cheap way to do it. There's a tool for this, but I don't have it. And I've been doing them like this since I was, 15 so just double crimp it you can use just a um, 
standard punch too, but the roll pin, what I found is like when you center punch it, sometimes you punch through the copper, but there's an easy fix for that because you're gonna you're gonna solder that anyway. Um, see this open gap, that flux will suck that back in. All right, so you just have like that little gap there and that like, I don't know, this is pointless, but probably for the amount of time this probably excavator is gonna be running um, I mean, this would last a long time, but this, this will help it last longer. It goes down a bit. Just throw your shrink. Now just a repeat on the other side. Uh, so now that this is good and weatherproof, we'll, we'll throw this on the machine. So I'm just gonna clean up this connection point. I'll do a better job of this, but this is just for today. Just make sure that we got the wiring figured out so that every time I hit the start, it doesn't try to catch fire. All right, so for these two, uh, I like to solder the ends of these connections because these things were badly corroded when I took them out. So that these are just sitting out on this and that just travels down these copper lines, uh, sitting outside. I'm uh, across the street from the Puget Sound, so uh, that's gonna add to it. But just over time, these things corrode and you don't wanna always be switching these out. All right, let's see if we got the wiring meltdown problem fixed. All right, so that's fixed. The uh, wiring meltdown um, problems figured out. Uh, we're gonna move on to the motor stuff uh, next time, and uh, we'll have to see if we're gonna be able to save this motor i don't have much faith in it it's got a lot of blow by um, we got to figure out how to wire in the lift pump uh had a 12 volt system uh lift pump and it is not there uh when you buy something in this kind of shape uh you're going to be missing parts and it's hard tracking down all this stuff uh so you gotta, you know, fabricate your own stuff. Uh, we're gonna figure out how to wire a 12 volt system in here and then we'll see if we have, once we get fuel, we'll see if it'll fire. Uh, if not, we're just gonna yard the motor out and uh, rebuild it with uh, one, of the, one of the kits. So uh, stay tuned, like, and subscribe and we'll see if we can get it around. <laughs>